A freeze-frame transition like this looks incredible cool. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly make this, so you can easily polish your video with a freeze-frame transition. If you're into this, keep watching. The major step for making a freeze frame is removing the picture background. This doesn't mean you have to do this manually. Just prepare the image. The artificial technology can do the rest. We can open a video that includes the needed frame inside the video product flagger. Go to the frame that you want to take a snapshot. Press M on the keyboard to add a marker. This marker can save us lots of effort when we align the image files later on. Press the snapshot button over here. Next, let's upload the snapshot onto this website. The website will generate a new image with no background. After that, Simply import the image onto Video Product Flagger. Isn't it super convenient? When getting the videos and the snapshot image ready, we can start to make the freeze frame effect. First, let's add these two videos to the timeline. Add a split point to make the second video start to play from where the original snapshot shows. Next, we add a snapshot without the background to the overlay track. Go to the inspector panel to find the photo screen height. Take a click. Let's shorten the duration. Let it be around 15 seconds. Tweak the details. Let the image and the first video end at the same time. Take a look. We can notice, the snapshot image doesn't get any animation effect. It appears abruptly. Thus, let's add an animation effect for that. We can do this in two easy ways. This is the easiest method. Select the image and go to the inspector panel to find a fade and move. Select one from the given moving options. Here, I choose the first one for a demonstration. Take a simple click. That's it. We can move this slider to change the duration. Drag it to here will be good. Let's take a look. Hmm, we've almost there. This is a more flexible method, like what we did before, select the image. Click on here to enter the motion editor. Here, I want the image to feel like it enters the video from down to up. We can go to the start position and add a keyframe. Then restore the selection box to the original size. Move this selection box upward until it covers the outside of the box. Next, let's get to the middle part. Add the second keyframe. Restore the position of the selection box. That can make an upward moving effect. What's even better, this method can help you make the image enter the video 
from whatever direction you like. You can even rotate the image, zoom in or out. Just unleash your creativity to make the wanted sliding effect. Last, let's add a background music that sounds dynamic. Add some particles effect. Isn't it super easy to do? That's all for today's tutorial. You can go to the homepage of our channel to find the tutorials for making more cool effects. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest tutorials from Video Prog Flagger. See you in our next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.